Hi there, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at another way to load multiple data into a single data store. So to get started, just go to your service script service, create a script and add the following lines to your script. In the first line here, again, I'm declaring my data store service, which I'm going to use to declare my data store table. Down here is my sample data which is a data dictionary. Here I have the key and my value is an array. To load this data into my data store table, I'm gonna need to iterate through all these entries one by one. So again, to do that, we're gonna use the for loop, for, and I'm gonna have, it, we're gonna use the for in pairs loop. So I'm gonna say for key comma value in pairs, my name of the, the table is data table two. And to load the data store, I'm going to use the set async function. So I'm going to start with my declare variable coins, DSS colon set async. And I'm going to have to pass in a key and value. My key is just key, which is the value I'm re receiving back from my uh, for in pairs loop. And the value is this value here. But instead of loading the value into this, this value here, if I do this, it's going to load the whole array in. In this exercise, I'm not gonna load the whole array in, but I'm gonna convert it into a string. So to convert your array into a string, I'm gonna use the table function, table.concat. Table.concat. And I'm gonna pass in two parameters. The first parameter is gonna be my table name, which is, in, in this case, is value. And also, I'm going to specify a separator. And by the way, we did have another video uh, where we break down all the different functions of uh, the table functions. So if you need uh, further details on table functions, you can refer back to that video. Anyway, so table.concat um, here, it's going to convert each element, I'm sorry, each array here into uh, a string. So for example, for the first array here, it's going to convert into a string where the string is 23 comma 71 comma 8. Next thing we need to do is we need to uh, to put this set async statement inside a p call. So let's declare local um, success comma error equals to P call function and we'll move this inside that P call. And come down to here. We're gonna check our success flag. So we're gonna say if success, or maybe if not success, then send now a warning message and the message is going to be from our return error message here all right so that's all you needed to do to load the uh, data store table next we're gonna see how we can retrieve the data from our data store table and remember we store a string into the value of the data store so we're gonna need to parse that string to break it up so um, to get the value from the data store table, let's pick a player. So we're gonna get the value for this player. Let's declare a local variable name equals to that player's name. And next, um, to get the, 
the data from the data store, we're gonna say uh, coins DSS colon get async and we need to give it a key. My key is gonna be the name of the player. And I'm gonna put this inside a pqa and I'm gonna return the value to one of the variables in the pqa. So I'm gonna put in return here. And now let's put it inside the pqa. So local success, comma, and let's call this coins. So this is where my value is gonna be the value of this get async is gonna be returned into this variable uh, variable coins. Lo local success coins equal to pico and function. All right, we'll move this return statement inside the pico. And come down to here we're gonna check to make sure that um, it, it's successful so we're gonna say if success and our return value the coins is not nil then uh, let's just print out those values so we're gonna do oh but you know something before we print out the values you see, when we stored the values, we stored it into a string, right? So we're gonna need to parse out that string now. So let's do this. We're gonna say local a, which is gonna be an array equals to coins colon split. And I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my split uh, function a uh, parameter so basically um, the split function it's gonna split up the string into different array elements um, my string for example for the first player let's say right or maybe for this player here that we selected here so my string is gonna be 2 comma 11 comma 45 so the the, um, the split function is gonna search for those commas and it's gonna put the two into the first element of the array, the 11 into the second element, and the 45 into the third element of the array. So my array A here, it's gonna have three elements, and those are gonna be the values of those elements, respectively. So the first value is gonna go into the first element, second value into the second element, and third value is gonna go into the third element. And now we can print out those values. So we're gonna do print. And first thing we wanna print, let's print the name. Concatenating that with, oops. Concatenating that with, um, let's say gold is the first value. And, and by the way, uh, I, I need to mention here, so these are the orders of these values, right? So the first element here is the gold, second element is the silver, third element is the bronze. All right, so gold, and we're gonna concatenating that with the first element of array A. So it's gonna be A1. I'm just gonna copy this. We're gonna do the same for the silver and the bronze. So let me change this to silver and I'm gonna change this last one to bronze. And another thing we need to do is in case it is not successful or coins is nil. Let's just print out this statement. We're gonna say no value found. Okay, let's give it a test. So here it is. Here's the output. And 
right away I can tell there is something wrong because all the values are the same number so let's take a look oh there it is you see what happened I forgot to change the um, the element the the value of each element here so I've changed gold silver and bronze but these gotta be changed to so the first one is a1 that is correct the second one gotta be a2 and the third one gotta be a3 okay let's run it again all right so here it is uh, this time it looks better so let's verify I have two goals two goals so it's new account with we're looking at right so we got two goals 11 silver and 45 bronze that looks correct uh, let's do one more test so we can pick uh, let's pick legend R and play if the first one works this one should work too so here we go but just let's make sure so we got 32 12 81 there we go legend are 32 12 81 all right everyone so those um, this is another way to do it so so far in our past three lessons uh, including this one we have learned three different ways to load uh, multiple values into our data store the first way was to load multiple values into multiple data stores the second way was to use a uh, data dictionary. So we load the whole, the entire data dictionary into the data store. And in this case, we're converting our data into a string and then unpack the string back into the array to get the values. Um, obviously, those are not the only ways to do it. There are different ways to do it. For example, here we could have loaded the entire array into the value of a data store or uh, there are other ways to do it for example you can instead of just storing the key as the um, the player name or player ID if you want it to be unique um, instead of storing the player right you can concatenate the player name or ID with the the string goal and then you can store the value of the gold only and concatenating the name with silver to store the silver and concatenating the name with bronze to store the value for the bronze. So again, the, there are different ways to do it and whichever way you prefer to use for your game, that, that is up to you. Until next time, happy coding.